All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Gee, you right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? <sighs> we think they're going to use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. You get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. All right, guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Fight me. <laughs> oh, man. The smoke.
past the garbage truck. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Got a getaway car stashed and ready to go. Cool, dog. See it. Where is it at? San Andreas. I need that fire. <laughs> you ready to do this? Yep. We got everything we need. Okay. So move already. When you get the stuff, bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. Hey, what's cracking? What's he at? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Sorry. Listen up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go.
All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Just a second. There they are. Incoming. Get ready to do your thing. All right, Mike, move it! Get moving, Em. Across both lanes, remember. Just stop the truck and keep it stationary. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. Hey, man, I got these motherfuckers! Tripped. The cops will be swarming here in 10 seconds. You better run. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Good to go. Sounds like they coming in numbers, homie. They got a panic button, all right. Whole lot of cops on the way. F, getting covered by those barriers. I'm going up here. Fuck. Fall back. We'll never get out of here. We got a whole position. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. Snipers are gone. We're clear. Cops, 
Shit, you look after yourself, dog, all right? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package from Mr. Weston. Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. What up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. 
Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right, I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry, everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. <sighs> The FIB is making me... Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Not really. I mean, you know, I've been working on myself. I just uh, I stole a couple cars, a few. There's nothing serious. Good, good. But I hope we're not back justifying the unjustifiable, my friend. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay?
Hello? Slick! Oh, you must be Michael's boy! Ugh. Oh, man! Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ugh. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. Here you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you? Please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does two hey, trade seven? how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Oh. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. 
This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Pull this off. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. I'm way out in front, guys. I can still take you. You believe that? I'm just biding my time. The car got away from me. Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rise and race. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired for my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> Hey, look, 
Evan Weston. He ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. He don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Did anyone see that? What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job, and leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. 